Actually, what benefit did I get from re-enrollment? Grants 20% focus recovery efficiency and rest events. Hey, that's super nice. Anyway, so we actually have to start our day with some classes. I'm going to begin the day with a common sense class. I'm then going to take a social skills class. Then I'm going to have a lot of Sonetto <laughs> in my life. So, invite Sonetto. We've already done this initial meeting, so I can skip it. Now we invite Sonetto again. Have I done the second one is the question. I don't know that I have done the second one. So this is on your territory. Whoa! Sonetto, I'm so happy to see you again. Even though I literally saw you just an hour ago. In game time. <laughs> Good day, Miss Jessica. Oh, I'm very... Yes, thank you for the passionate welcome. Please, you, you can let me go now. We're starting the lesson now. Oh? Did you bring another present? What's in this big sack? In her curious gaze, the young teacher stands by the podium, holding a paper bag in her arms. She clears her throat and tries to speak in a way that resembles an experienced typo as much as possible. Teacher as much as possible. <clears throat> Before we start, I should emphasize again that this is a cognition class, which is different from other meetings we had in a more casual setting. Given your performance in our last lesson, I believe we should start with the basics. Miss Jessica? Could you please tell me what this is? This? Based on what happened last time, it seems that, in the process of recognising a new object, you are more used to observing the object's colour, shape and temperature and associating with things you know. Sino takes a banana out of the paper bag and leaves it on the table. That's why I would assume that you might recognise this as something similar to the moon. However, we all know this is not the actual moon. We need to introduce you to some other ways to identify and categorise a new object, like... Like... What are you talking about, Sonetto? Of course it's not the moon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is promising. You seem to be a lot better than... It's a boomerang! What? A boom... What? <laughs> the serial killer's weapon in the stories. It curves at the midpoint of its body. It looks like an L, and it's yellow. The killer can throw it out to cut down the victim's head and it will fly back itself, while the head will become the killer's collection. No. You have mistaken it, Miss Jessica. But I don't get it. It's not sharp enough to cause any damage. It's called blazen, bl 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 bludgeoning damage. Um. Because it's just a banana. It's a plant and a fruit. The edible kind. It's never used for cutting people's heads off. Uh. It's edible? Uh. Wait. Uh, you could have hmm. peeled the skin off. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Banana tastes funny. No. Please stop. You have to peel it first. No, I mean, please stop eating our teaching aids. Useless. So that to get to the end of, yep, day seven. Day eight, we spend three times inviting Sineo, which should finish off her. One, two, three, yep. Okay, let's go, Sineo. Miss Jessica? What are you doing here? I'm trying to make a hole in the ceiling so I can use some fresh air in the room. Um... It's gonna be dangerous. Please do not act on this idea. Our class will begin soon, please. Why don't you just open a window? Oh? You brought a new friend today. That's right. Given what has happened in the last two times, I have made some adjustments to my teaching strategy. Oh my god, it's a cat. Huh? I've never had a friend like this. This is a cat. An animal that is safer to touch than those arcane creatures. And they are very adorable. That's one of the reasons why people like to keep them around in the house. <laughs> It smells more like wheat to me. Do you know what wheat is? It's one of the ingredients used to make bread. Of course, cats are not ingredients for bread. That's right. I'm surprised you would say that. It smells more like wheat to me. Do you know what wheat is? Wait, what? Why is Sonetto saying what Jessica said and with typos? I know what bread and friends are. Of course you can't eat a friend, so it's not edible. I'm very glad that you get to understand this. Seems like the adjustment I made is an effective one. This is good. It's quite tame compared to the carbuncles. No, it's ferocious. Mm. Ferocious? 
It has sharp blades in its paws. How is she, if she's from the wild, how has she not come across a creature with claws? And beast's teeth in the mouth, many of them have it. Uncomfortable with sudden petting, the kitten shows its teeth and gives a couple of hisses. Then it jumps on top of a high cupboard like a spring. Look at that amazing jump. Oh, that's impressive. An awesome friend from the human world. Clear. This is... Oh, you know, it's a book. Hmm. Yes, this is a book. People praise books to be the ladder of human progress. And through books, humans are able to obtain more insights. A lesson starts from this book today. Huh? Are we going to climb a ladder today? In terms of knowledge and in a spiritual sense, yes. I can tell that you are a very sensitive and perceptive person, Miss Jessica. All you need is a systematic method to study and some opportunities to engage new things. No worries. I'm confident that you will have more opportunities after you successfully pass the assessment. Don't worry, timekeeper. Always keeps her words. Since we are not allowed to go outside, we can learn through books. Why? Why? This book doesn't have many words. I only see a few words between these blocks. The blocks look just like what Jennifer used to make. Hmm. These are drawings, Miss Jessica. In fact, they are the same kind of creation that Miss Bonnie has been doing. When we look at them, we are looking at different corners of the world. Oh god, she's going to take you literally. Jessica's fingertips gently swipe across the pages. They're beautiful. Huh? You can see the beauty of it. How amazing. To appreciate a drawing usually takes aesthetic knowledge and life experience. I wouldn't have thought you can. No. Never mind. It seems like you're very talented at this. What about those words in the space between the blocks? They don't seem like stories to me. Um, has someone taught her to read yet? These are poems. Most people believe that poems and drawings have a lot in common, and that's why they are always presented next to each other. Huh? Are they like Jennifer's stories? Not exactly, but by definition, yes, they all belong to literature. Drawings evoke feelings, and people project these feelings into words to create poems. This is a form of writing that possesses an immaterial nature and can pass on feelings unreservedly, using words mm. I don't think she understands. What about that? Mr. Zima used to say that I was overthinking it. He said poems aren't as complicated as I thought. You seem to like them a lot. Huh? Me? Yeah, both your temperature and tone went up when you talked about them. Very funny. Since you like them so much, they must be very interesting. They are to me. And the final sonetto challenge. I wonder what the roll's gonna be. How high I have to achieve. Hmm. What is this? A piece of paper, slightly wrinkled, is captured in her hand. On that paper writes a strangely rhymed sentence in a kid's handwriting. Is this a poem written by you so she can read and write? Yes. It's a present for you to thank you for bringing me to the delicious sun. The boomerang with funny taste, the ferocious new friend, and spending so much time with me. <laughs> I hope you can enjoy it. I can't make good stuff like Jennifer's works, but I think I know how to write stories like hers. As I remember, complete the poetry. I only have to get a roll of one. How do you fail? All right, exactly what I want. Apple is another sun, sweet and warm, yet banana is the moon, resting by a bitter roof. You were fine up until that last line. That was this just weird. Fantastic. Very impressive for a beginner. I truly appreciate this present of yours. No, last line's a bit iffy. I will report these improvements to the foundation. I'm certain that this will look good in your final assessment. Please keep up with the hard work so that one day you, we can have you in Timekeeper's crew. Da -da 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 Emerging poet grants three points for tangible cognition assessment events. Okay. And we've unlocked Matilda, the guest of yours. All right. So for the rest of day eight, we actually just have to rest to get our focus back. So we can do some skills at the end to get Matilda's final skill check. So we're just going to rest. 
And I'm gonna stop briefly to go get my washing out of the uh, washing machine. Hold up. Day nine, we're going to start inviting Matilda. A friend who's something of a chatterbox. She always mentions Sonetto. They must be really close friends. We have a skill check immediately from the get-go. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> are you kid? Hey, can't you hear me? Huh? Who are you? A hasty shade of gold sweeps past her. The next moment, something bumps into her. Whoa. <laughs> so, you. You are new here. Yes, I'm studying here. Are you a new friend? I've never seen you before. You must have come here after me. Ha! As if Ms. Warnish uh, would be the junior to a little dear. But you are the person that Sonata keeps coming back to visit. You. What's so special about you? Easier for a response. We've got to hit five. <gasps> I don't think this takes into consideration if I fail. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. <gasps> Stepped on the great Matilda with your hoof. How dare you? <coughs> what are the odds of me failing? God, that hurts. Oh, no. We've wasted that. Ah, oh, shit. We may not get the ending now. <sighs> Surely I can't get two ones in a row. Thank God. Okay, well, we're not going to get enough social skills, so I don't know if we can pass Matilda's final check. Did you get hurt just now? I don't understand any of your words. I know, Sonetto, but she never mentioned a friend like you. What? I'm Matilda Boanish, the top three students in school, the monitor assistant, and the speaker of graceful French. Okay. Matilda, are you also here to listen to the stories told by those smileless people? Stories? No. How is it possible that I would be locked in here with you people? As a matter of fact, I have come to instruct you. Ahem. <clears throat> Listen. The best student could only be me. I will oh. definitely. So you're my new friend then? Oh. Friend? No way. Let, Whoa. Let me down. Gosh, I'm not used to this height. Put me down now. She is rather short. Alrighty. Got some skills there, but we're looking a little iffy. This is not good. Not good at all. What is wrong with you? Arcanists mostly harness their noses through squirrel three inches. No, three quotation marks, sorry. A piece of exam paper is almost scrunched up and disappears in Matilda's grip. How can you fail at such a simple question? Huh? Anything wrong? Squirrel 3 is an outgoing boy. Outgoing? Boy? What? I'm sure it can always help with whatever I need. Oh my god. I can't even with this woman. Matilda, is something wrong with your stomach? You look pale. Ugh. Don't look at me like this with your puppy dog eyes. Oh, we are so at the dead end. Introduction to arcane skills is nothing but a bound volume of chill papers for you. Not to mention ethics. Oh, ethics. The book with indigo cover, English, is suddenly opened rudely. Jessica, listen, what would you do if someone offered you help? Well, I'll invite them to my cave and get them to the softest bed. Then I'll shut the stone gate closed so they won't run away. If I still have time after that, I'll tie their hands and legs. But of course, I'll be careful in case I break their bones. Oh my god. No, it could have been simple. Just say thanks. I can't believe this. Then, what if? What if someone took something away from you? Hmm, I'll just give it to them and invite them to my cave. Why? Where on earth will you do that? Why do you have to keep people in your cave? Huh? Hmm, what's wrong about that? <coughs> I can see it now. You are making fun of me. They told you to make fun of me, right? Your voice is too loud, Matilda. My smallest friend said you won't get the canteen soup if you don't keep it down. Soup is a kind of delicious food. You must have never had it, huh? Shall I get you some later? Oh? Hmm? 
Do you feel Matilda? Your face is blushing. Her face isn't blushing. It's it's angry. Matilda? I You can figure this all out by yourself. I'm out. The part that annoys me and bothers me is that um Jessica is so fucking oblivious. It's one thing to not have an education, but to be so wholly unaware of that fact and just so oblivious to the world is actually really grating. It's super annoying. Anyway, where are we? We are at evening rest on day nine. We invite Matilda again. Apparently we like to uh, stir her up. Aggrieved sobs. She doesn't understand anything. Even even if even if it has been clearly stated in her file that she has never been educated, and her mind is almost like a child's mind, she shouldn't have made fun of me. I'm done with her. Her leather shoes stump on the floor, absolutely and strongly, like the owner's determination. Perhaps I was a bit impulsive, but I wasn't wrong. She is stupid enough to get herself into this. Hmm, that stupid girl. She's gonna be in great trouble without Ms. I still don't know how to pronounce your last names. Help. <laughs> how forgiving I am, putting away the grudges so quickly. This is not some apology. She's the one who should apologize. Fabulous. You're here again. I thought you were not coming today. <laughs> I'm here to accept your apology. Apology? What is an apology? Oh my god. You, hmm, just say, hmm. Just bow to me and say it out loud. I'm sorry, please accept my apology and forgive me, gracious Matilda. Eyes shut, face blushing, Matilda shouts out the words with considerable intensity. Huh? Is this a game? I knew you wouldn't do as I said. In this case, I can still show my tolerance. <gasps> I'm sorry. My bad. The graceful. The graceful. Miss Buanish, forgive me. You! How come you won't be embarrassed? This sounds more embarrassing than I thought. Did I say it wrong? It's gracious Matilda, right? <gasps> Stop saying that. Hmm? You are weird. I said it right, but you don't seem to be comfortable with it at all. Why? Because you're not apologetic at all. Honestly. Alrighty. So... Next day, we're supposed to just be like studying, but the problem is that because I fudged up the roll, I'm one behind here, so I'm gonna have to spend some time uh, inviting Matilda again. Jessica, I prepared you a test, don't worry. <laughs> Matilda freezes, processing what she is looking at with great effort. Sonetto, what are you doing here? Quotation marks, Sonetto. Oh, she can disguise herself, can't she? Wait, wait, wait. Sonetto, what? What are you going to do? It's too close. Matilda. Yes, I am. No, why would I say that? Stop, don't get any closer. Whoa. Matilda, why are you so nervous today? You mentioned her a lot. So I thought you would be happy to see Sonetto. I... Hmm. But you don't seem happy. <gasps> Your ears are so red, are you ill? Stop making fun of me, Sonetto. Uh, she got even more weird today. Huh? What's this? The pile of books brought by Matilda has been kicked down and scattered around on the floor. In the ruins, a stack of paper shows itself. Matilda dropped it. Oh? Quiz answers? Are we about to just cheat our way through this test? Lol. Anyway, we are taking our social, social? Yeah, we're social skilling right up until the end of day 11 when we'll take our final invite. Oh, but what if I fail it? Actually, I don't think I can retake it. I can't retake it anyway. So yeah, we do it last. Riveting, I know. I wonder what level we're going to get up to. 
Uh, we're on day 10. We're supposed to rest. And then we have three social skills and then we invite. Okay, thank God. Level four. Wow, level seven. That's nice. I'm probably supposed to get to level six, but I won't be able to get that high. Yeah, I think we are supposed to get to level six, but I won't make it. Mm. That sucks. Actually, we wouldn't have made it anyway. If it's only going up by plus 30. Another 30 would have only got me to 566. Anyway, final thing we're doing is inviting Matilda. If we fail this, we freaking can't achieve anything. We have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Now I know what happened the other day. Don't pull a prank on the instructor again. Understand? <coughs> Let's put that aside. Now it is time for us to see how well I, you, have been doing in class. This is the quiz I prepared for you. The questions are all from Societal Level Preliminary Test A001, Revised Edition, which means you'll find the questions designed from different angles in here, and they could be challenging. Oh, I've seen these sentences before. Really? <laughs> this is terrific, but of course you would memorize all these with the help from the greatest genius Matilda. It will give you 15, no, 45 minutes to finish all the questions. Let's find out what a great instructor I have been. Recall the test answers. Oh, so it is actually super easy to win. Unless you're me and you just scrape the room. Oh my god. Oh. This is my girl passing the exam with flying colors. <laughs> Matilda can do everything perfectly, including teaching. This has better proven that I was just unlucky to lose three points to Sonetto in the exam back then. She complacently pats on the red ticks of the exam paper. Back then? Oh, that was an exam on a brief introduction to strategy. I got one multiple choice question wrong. How did Sonata manage to get full marks in every exam? I even prayed to that man and books in the library. Turns out it was just a scam. One boring, stupid mirror. Pray then you can pass the exam with full marks. That kind of thing. Which is in a mirror filled with cheat sheets. <laughs> But I've also put my full marks exam paper into that dumb mirror. I'm a much better model than some random rumors. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, not that that makes much sense, but okay. And we're done. We're graduating. Educational errors grants three points for arcane stability assessment events. Oh, well, that doesn't really. Well, are we going to be doing more arcane stability of assessment events? I have no idea. Oh, we can go to the library now. Yay. It's the day of the big assessment. Gotta get the questions right. When your friends invite you to dance with them, what should you do? Accept the invitation. When you do something wrong, you should admit your mistake and promptly apologize. Our food is prepared by others. I'll close this on by others. How should we treat others? We need to give to others too. Although she did tell us to thank them. Ah, whatever. I just need a zero mark. Okay, does this get me a B? Oh, so close to an A. It's fine. But we get a new ending. Congratulations, Mrs. Jessica. Is this all just gonna say the same thing? That's the same. It's gorgeous. Good. Is the ending the same when I just get the extra actual of ending? That's awesome. I look forward to it. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Huh? No. It's the exact same. Yeah, wait a minute. Come on, let's go. The 
but but yes there we go finally got that ending all right five more to go oh my god i don't know what the rest are and what they entail